right, it's 10.37 on 104.4, the sounds of your city. This is Big Dick McAvoy coming at you, one hour of dick power. And I've got a caller. Caller, what's your name? My name's Darren. All right, Darren, what are you calling about, buddy? I heard you're having a thing about um, albinos coming up soon. Sorry, Al did you say albinos? I love the albinos, mate. You know, my dog's an albino. It's just, you know, something that's really close to my heart. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. We don't have any albino interviews coming up. I don't know where you heard that. Unless maybe you were stoned. No, no, I don't do drugs or anything like You've that. Been no. Chasing the dragon. No, I don't do drugs. And I thought it'd be funny to call up a radio station. Is this what's happened? No, mate, I don't you do drugs or anything it's like that. It's fine if it has, I understand. Thought it'd be a laugh. Call Dick Station. Oh, I'm high. Talk about albinos and your dog. Who has an albino dog anyway, you fucking No, idiot. look, I'm a big fan of Dick. You know, I rang up because I heard you were having albino interviews. You know, and I expect my albinos, you know. That's what you said. You said something about albinos. Yeah, uh, Darren, listen, we're going through a tunnel, mate. Um, I'm just going to have to go to a song here, buddy. Uh, well, I'm not going through a tunnel. What are you talking Yeah, uh, this is 104.4, Sound of the City. Uh, Kim. Dick, can you please knock when you come here? Hey, some guy called up about an albino interview that I'm supposed to do this afternoon. Do you know anything about it? I set it up for you. You set it up for me. Were you going to tell me? I did tell you. I emailed you and I text messaged you and I also stuck it onto your computer with a sticky note. I don't remember any of that happening at all. I need you to cancel it. No, I'm not cancelling. You cancel it. I'm not cancelling it at all. I don't want to talk to the guy. You, you booked it. You cancel Dick, it. Dick, every time you want me to get someone interesting, you want me to cancel it afterwards. Yeah. Scientologist. Why are you trying to convert me? Conjoint twins. It wouldn't fit in the studio. Yeah. And now you want me to cancel the albino. Oh. No, I'm not going to do it. If you want him cancelled, you can cancel him yourself, right? Okay. All right. So you'll cancel it then. No. Uh, Cole, I need you to cancel an interview for me. Wow, which one? The albino one. Why? Because I said on air I wasn't going to do it, and now if I do it, I look stupid. It's the Albino Week interview. We can't risk upsetting the albino community. There's an albino community? Look, the interview's in 40 minutes, just go do it already. Alright, I was going to anyway, Colin. Hey, Mel. Hi, Dick. How you going? Yeah, good, mate. Good. Good. You look good today. Real good. Uh, no, I think I look pretty shit, actually. Well, I was thinking you look really nice. Your hair's curlier than usual, and this is working for you. I was thinking you look shit. Really? Look, Mel, wait. I need to talk to you for a second. Okay, uh, just take my interview this afternoon. I'll give you someone to talk to. Let me think. Do I want to do Dick a favour today? No. How about, yeah, because you've got no interviews, you haven't had any interviews for weeks, and they're always shit. I don't want to do your job for you. Just take it, all right? It's the albino guy. You'll have heaps to talk about. The, the guy from the... Albano week? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'll do that. Brilliant. Yeah. Do you not know that that was a big... Of course, yeah, of course I knew it was... Of course I knew it was a big thing. It's a big interview, yeah? Thank you. Thank you, Dick. Sorry about my rudeness earlier. Uh... I'll do the interview. Save you having to do it. I will do it. I'm on it. Done. No, it's fine. Actually, you know, I think more I think about it, I'll do the interview. Don't worry about it. But I said I'd do it, so we're done. Oh, I've changed my mind. It's unprofessional of me to even ask. Sorry, Mel. Um. Dick. What? I'll swap you. Uh, you'll swap me for my interview. Yep. What are you going to swap me? Lawrence Long. Lawrence Long. He's the a no, the Asian guy from the ABC. I don't like that guy no, at no, all. No, no, because he's Asian and he's magic. Okay, great. Sounds fun. No. I've got Ben Law as well. I've got Ben Law. It's ben Law, another Asian guy. Gay, Asian writer. Uh, Brilliant. so two Asians for one albino. Two Asians, one of them's gay. Two Asians for one albino. It's albino week. Is it Asian week? That's right. No, they don't get a week. All right. So I think you know my answer. It's no. This is 104.4 Community Radio, the sounds of your city with Dick McAvoy. In the studio, I'm joined by Tom Leary, who's an albino, apparently. You don't really look like how I imagined. Well, my great-grandfather was an albino, and I'm one-eighth albino, so I don't really have the pigmentation issues. What about the eyes? You don't have that. No, my eyes are fine. Can you go in the sun? I can, yeah, yeah, that's not a worry at all. So you can go in the sun and you don't have the eyes or the pigmentation. What about you as albino? On the census, if there was a question, are you albino, would you say yes or no? Take your time. I'd say no. Fucking hell. Fuck you.